Let's get to more on our top story. The United Auto Workers going on strike. Take as CEO of General Motors, Disney board member, and chair of the Business Roundtable. Uh, you guys have just announced a new $6 billion line of credit. GM's electric roller coaster. The drama, the truth, the future. General Motors, once an untouchable titan of the automotive world, is currently grappling with a major crisis, with their dream electric vehicles turning into a potential nightmare. But hold on, you won't believe what's under the hood. Today, we're exploring the turbulent journey of General Motors under CEO Mary Barra's leadership. It's a saga of big bets, bigger risks, and questions about the future of this once ruling kingpin. Now, imagine this, you're a global car giant, and in a bold move, you decide to shift your focus from the roaring combustion engines to the silence of electric vehicles. This is exactly what GM did, and it's led to, well, let's say some electrifying, controversial outcomes. Their aspiration? To have only electric vehicles roll out of their showrooms by 2035. A commendable goal, but one that's not been without its pitfalls. The inside story indicates that these EVs might be selling at a loss, an unexpected twist in their electrifying journey, to be sure. Now, where did GM possibly miss a step? It seems their EV pricing strategy turned some heads, and not always in admiration. Those price tags? Quite hefty, leading many potential buyers to reconsider their choices. But that's not the end of it. Word on the street is that GM has faced production challenges, from temporary shutdowns attributed to reduced demand to a significant $3 billion employee strike. The road's been anything but smooth. Recall the Bolt, a notably popular model in GM's electric lineup. In an unforeseen move, GM announced its discontinuation. For those wondering about the company's financial horizon, Bloomberg's analysis gives a sobering perspective, suggesting that GM's EV endeavors might remain in the red for a while, with their ICE units possibly covering the setbacks. So what's next for GM? Will they manage to overcome their current challenges, or will they continue to face difficulties in the evolving automotive landscape? Before we dive into the details, make sure you subscribe to stay updated on the latest developments in the EV sector. At the helm of GM, Mary Barra has been quite candid, openly acknowledging some of the company's challenges in the EV space. While GM had set its sights high, aspiring for profitability by 2025 and gunning to sell a whopping 1 million EVs annually, the reality has been, well, a tad different. In the year 2023 alone, they managed to roll out about 44,000 vehicles. Now, that's not a small number by any means, but the highlight is that each of these was sold at a loss. While their gas-powered counterparts have been pulling the financial weight, it's becoming clear that EVs might not be GM's golden goose anytime soon. Transitioning from GM's overall EV stance, a significant area of concern emerges, the pricing spectrum. GM's electric vehicles, while promising on the innovation front, have raised eyebrows with their price tags, often soaring above $60,000. These vehicles deviate from the widely accepted sweet spot of $30,000 to $50,000, which is believed to cater to a broader consumer base. CEO Mary Barra has been forthright about the challenges GM faces in this domain. The segment that's particularly vexing for GM? Vehicles priced between $30,000 and $40,000. Barra underscores that with current battery costs, making these vehicles both affordable for the consumer and profitable for GM is a tightrope walk. This feels a tad paradoxical especially considering GM's Chevy Bolt EV, which started at $26,500, and their upcoming 2024 Chevy Equinox EV set to debut around the $30,000 mark. While the Bolt EV might be taking its final bow soon, it does raise the question, was GM truly profiting from it? The Equinox EV's release, however, is something many are keenly watching out for. Now, diving deeper into the battery dilemma, it becomes clear that GM's mission is to reduce the dominant costs associated with EV batteries. 
GM's flagship Ultium batteries are not only expected to be more pocket-friendly than their older counterparts, but they also carry a roadmap to be even more cost-efficient. Reports suggest that the current Ultium batteries come with a price tag of approximately $100 per kilowatt hour. However, GM is taking strides to trim this down, targeting a cost of less than $70 per kilowatt hour by the mid to late decade, with an intermediate goal of $87 per kilowatt hour by 2025. But the quest doesn't stop at just cost cutting. GM's eyes are set on enhancing performance too. They're dipping their toes into the potential of lithium iron phosphate cells, known for their cost efficiency. The innovative modular design of GM's Ultium battery technology, coupled with its superior energy density, may very well be its trump card against rivals like Tesla, promising both longer driving ranges and substantial cost savings. However, while their roadmap is ambitious, GM stays grounded. They're optimistic about achieving cost parity between these batteries and their ICE vehicles by 2025, but they've been candid about potential timeline shifts. Every leap of innovation can sometimes be accompanied by stumbling blocks. For GM, their rapid plunge into the EV domain has resulted in certain quality issues. An episode that perhaps still rings bells for many is the recall of 40,000 Chevrolet Silverado trucks, an outcome of undesirable brake fluid leaks. Unfortunately, this wasn't the only blunder. In total, GM has had to wave the red flag for eight distinct models, with repercussions felt by over 55,000 vehicles. Such events, while part of the growth journey, have cast a considerable shadow on their brand image and given their financials a vigorous shake. The road to electric supremacy hasn't been without potholes for GM. One major bump was encountered at their much-vaunted Factory Zero in Detroit. This plant, which was supposed to provide GM with an advantage, sadly shut down completely in December. What were the outcomes? In the previous quarter, only 86 Cadillac Lyrics and 72 Hummer EVs were delivered. It stands in stark contrast to skyrocketing expectations. But the ripple effects go beyond just the factory floors. A tidal wave of unrest erupted when around 150,000 workers across three Midwest plants downed tools and raised picket signs. Their demands were hefty, a 40% pay hike a shift away from a multi-tiered wage system, and several other revisions. Amidst this wave of unrest, an eyebrow-raising contrast emerges. As assembly line workers felt the financial pinch, the top CEOs at automotive giants like GM, Ford, and Stellantis saw their bank accounts grow. GM CEO Mary Barra earned a cool $29 million in 2022, a whopping 34% jump since 2019. Barra defends this increase, attributing it to her performance, which she claims has kept company stock prices higher. However, with GM's staggering $10 billion profit that year, many argue that the workers, the backbone of the company, deserve a more substantial share. In a recent survey, it's worth noting that 75% of Americans sided with the workers. This bubbling tension culminated when GM temporarily sidelined nearly 2,000 unionized workers at their Fairfax assembly plant in Kansas due to the ongoing UAW strikes. Such a chain of events underscores GM's current operational challenges and the urgency to recalibrate its rapport with its workforce. And what implications might these corporate tremors have for the regular GM enthusiast or prospective buyer? Operational hiccups, such as those from Factory Zero, could mean longer waits for those eager to get their hands on the latest EVs, like the Hummer EV or Cadillac Lyric. In a market where immediacy can be a deal breaker, such delays might make potential GM enthusiasts glance elsewhere. Reliability remains paramount for consumers. For most, a car isn't just a means of transport. It's a symbol of safety, dependability, and personal taste. Multiple recalls could cast a shadow over GM's dedication to these principles. But beyond GM's own walls, the EV market itself is bustling with activity and competition. Tesla, often seen as the poster child of the EV revolution, 
continues to lead the pack, with data from Motor Intelligence highlighting Tesla's vast lead, approximately 300,000 units ahead of its nearest competitors in the first half of 2023, it's evident that GM has its work cut out. Furthermore, the rise of Hyundai Motor, including its subsidiary Kia, edging past GM in US EV sales, underscores the fierce competition GM faces. Although Hyundai and Kia combined still sit a distance behind Tesla, their surge does signal a shift in market dynamics. As the dust of these challenges begins to settle, the horizon for General Motors, though filled with obstacles, offers opportunities. The dynamic interplay of worker relations, corporate strategy, and market competition creates a canvas of both uncertainty and potential. Interesting facts. Now, as we round up our deep dive into GM, let's touch upon some intriguing facets of the company. GM's stock price, like many giants in the industry, has been fluctuating. As of September 26, 2023, the company boasted a market cap of $47.999 billion. Mary Barra stands as the first female CEO of a big three automaker, shattering ceilings in the historically male-centric auto world. GM declared plans to refresh the bolt and sustain production of this favored small electric vehicle, a mere three months after intimating its discontinuation. While GM's revenue has seen its share of ebbs and flows, 2022 marked a high note. That year, GM registered a peak revenue of a staggering $156.7 billion. Diving deeper into the numbers, GM's revenue per employee ratio stands impressively at $1,011,193. To wrap things up, General Motors, with its storied past and promising future, remains a significant player in the auto industry. Its current struggles, compared to its rich history and plans, showcase a company in transition, attempting to redefine itself in a rapidly evolving world. Do you believe GM can reclaim its prime spot in the EV market? How do you view Mary Barra's leadership, especially amidst the ongoing challenges? With the changes in the automotive landscape, where do you see GM in the next decade? We always appreciate your insights and engagement. Until our next deep dive, stay informed, stay curious, and stay tuned for more enlightening videos.